All right, a lot of people interested in the log work that I do, the handrails, the spiral stairs, the uh, bed frames, the furniture, the tables, you know, everything I build out of logs. And I was going to get y'all caught up on that because, uh, like I said, a lot of people are interested in it. I guess a lot of people don't do it. And, and there might be a lot that does it. And a lot of y'all might do it too already, you know, use the tenon, you know, the lumberjack tools to do this. But uh, for those of y'all that don't, let me uh, let me see if I can t save y'all some time and some money on this right here. Oh, uh, because uh, you can flat sure burn up some drills and and you can hurt yourself. So let me let me let me show you how I do it and uh, and what I use, and then we'll go from there. I'll try to do a demonstration and and maybe uh, meal some of these down and let y'all see how it works and what it takes to hold this stuff down. Now I'm gonna make some recommendations during all this, and uh, y'all just, you know, you you back your own judgment on this stuff right here, but I'm gonna make recommendations, and that's all I can do. Anyway, here we go. All right, first thing. Lumberjack makes these tools, and they do sell a three-quarter drive drill. That's a three-quarter drive. Oh, that one Noah used it to build the ark, so I mean, don't be looking for that one. but. Uh, Milwaukee makes a three-quarter drive drill that will turn this bit. This bit is turning a six and a half inch log into two inches. So you can see the material that it's using. Now, the recommendation that I was going to make would be to go ahead and get the vise that holds the drill and the log down. That way you're not trying to hold this. Unless you've got Billy Bob down the street that's hungry and needs a bucket of chicken and trade for coming up here and helping you hold and not hold all this mess down don't don't do it just just go ahead and get the vice and be done with it because that drill right there will hurt you i'm going to cut one in a minute by hand that's all uh, half the size of what that bit's capable of doing and you'll see it moving me around pretty good and i don't weigh but 165 pounds but you know billy bob weighs 360 and you know he would be a whole lot better at it but anyway you'll you'll get the gist of what i'm talking about it takes a lot to hold these drills these big drills like that now half inch drill it's got its place too you know half inch drive drills but it's not with a big bit like that do not put look people i can't stress this don't go get these bits and go to go to lowe's or your local hardware store and pick up a half inch drive drill and say oh i'm ready you're not it will not run that bit right there okay it, 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 I mean, I don't care how soft your wood is, you're going to burn the drill up. It won't even run this one. That's a two inch too, and it probably won't take but like a three and a half inch down. But it's rough on it. If you just go ahead and get the big drill and be done with it, you'll be money ahead, I promise. Because I've already gone through all of this. This is that experience thing that I was in, that money saving that I was talking about saving you. Here it is. Don't do it. This one right here, like I said, it's got its place for the little one inch if you want to make rolling pins for a living. You know, with the little one inch spindles for stools and chairs and, you know, even handrails. Small, small stuff. Say two and a half, three inch smaller down to one inch. See? You can, then you can use that half inch drive. Half inch drive is good for boring the holes, you know, the two inch holes and stuff like that for putting your logs into the logs. You know what I'm saying? That'll work. But, if you're gonna if you're gonna be fooling with big material, just go ahead and get the big drill. That's what I'm saying. Now the difference is in the cutters right here. This is a tapered tenon cutter. It's actually gonna the shoulder of that. It's gonna be like a pencil. It's just like a big giant pencil sharpener. So it's gonna be tapered. Okay, this one. That's the same thing. Tapered. This one is gonna have a radius. You see that cup right there. It's going to be a totally different look, like the little rolling pin right here. It's got that tapered look. You see it? I mean, that uh, radius. Anyway, let me set all this stuff up and and, uh, and see if I can get, uh, I can't, I don't know. I, don't, I forgot Billy Bob's number down the road there, but I'm going to put it in a vise right here. I've got mounted on the skinning shed that I just mounted. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it right here, and I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod and... Uh, give y'all a demonstration of what it takes to hold this stuff but anyway y'all bear with me and uh kids don't try this at home y'all are about to see why i said go ahead and get the vice that 
Oh, Lumberjack Tools offers, you know, to hold the drill in the log. You're fixing to see why. This is half, half of what this bit is capable of doing. Like I said, this is this is only like a three inch, and this thing will do six and a half. It may be a little bit bigger than three, but you're gonna see what it takes for me to hold this. So just go ahead and get the the right the right stuff instead of doing it like I'm doing it. But I'm just giving you a demonstration. So. You know, I ain't got Billy Bob down the road either, but I got uh, I got this little vise here, and it's gonna it'll hold it pretty good. Let's see what it'll do. <laughs> okay, right here, you can actually put. They have a bolt that goes through here. It'll stop. So that can actually adjust the, the length of your, you know, your your spindle that's going into the opposite log. I've got one on this one right here. And that way if you're doing spindles or whatever and you're just, I mean, you're running them fast, you can just run up till you hit that stop right there, that little bolt, you're done. Go to the next one. Anyway, what I was going to show you, let me take this out and show you the difference. This is going to be the paper. All right, that's the tapered, like a big pencil sharpener is all it is. You know, got that angle to it. Let's do the radius on that same one. And that way y'all can sort of see, see the difference. <laughs> stop that drill okay and that drill ain't even on the extension cord okay that that's just what I'm talking about it was already milled down by the big the big drill and just to just to cut that radius that smaller drill was having trouble with it it's got a it's got a place it's just not on these bigger bits you need to stick with uh, that's that's why I say the big three-quarter drive now look see the difference that's cool isn't it Makes that radius a little bit different. Tapered radius. All right. Now, say that was uh, that was your top. That was your top. Let's see. I can do it right now. Let me get the center of this thing right here. I ain't got no pencil or nothing. But it's just it's it's simple, y'all. This stuff is simple. Seven. Be in the center right there. Okay. All right. Let's put that right there for the time being. Say that's going to be a, a twin bed. Now I'm not ready to do this. This is plenty of fire. I'm just gonna, I need some grease on my. On my I, need, I need something. Tell you what, that thing is raising cane, ain't it? All right, now. Instead of going with the two inch on this little bitty thing, I'm gonna go with this one inch if I can get it. Oh. If it, if I can make it work. There we go. Let's see. Six, center to center. So I would go three. I hope y'all will see this. And three. All right. Find my little bit. I already got a little one inch bit right here. That's what this is good for. All right. Now come in here and I. One there. 
keep them straight. I'll show you how to do this on the next video. Okay. Got that. See it. All right, you want to line them two up. All right. There you go. You see it? It's just that easy. Ain't nothing to it, and folks, you can go, I mean, you can go in any direction you want with this right here, but I mean, you know, it, it don't get no more fun than this right here. I hope I helped y'all, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a rough video, but I hope I helped y'all out with it. If y'all got any questions, give me a holler. Appreciate y'all.